Welcome to Bandanera, home of the nutmeg. You're here on the Elvin Mark Art Channel. How are we all doing? Today we're going to explore lodging on the island. So if you're visiting the island, what type of boarding options are available? We explore three popular kinds of living options. There are plenty of quaint looking guest houses, dive resorts and grand hotels like the gorgeous Chilu Bintang and also the Grand Maulana that used to even house foreign dignitaries. First up, let's zoom into a guest house. This one is called Zahira and it's up on a hill. And also, if you live here, you get a mini gala or a nutmeg catcher as a keychain as part of your key set for your room. Welcome to this guest house run by Eliza and Aswar. There are a total of four rooms, two on the top and two below. So this is an example of a guest house. And what's really great about this is waking up to see this every morning. And to wake up having a nutmeg tree right in front of your window. And not to mention nasi kuning for breakfast. So just to back up a bit, nasi kuning or nasi kunyit is yellow rice and how the yellow, how the rice gets its colour is from turmeric. ABC must be the common or popular condiment maker here in Indonesia. So we have um, ketchup from ABC. We also have uh, sambal. So from the picture, you can see that it's uh, chilli and garlic. And of course, we have ketchup manis or sweet dark sauce. Let's eat! Mm. Why aren't people making more of these jams? This is the abbreviation for the nutmeg tree. Just so you know. Good morning, Salamat Bagi. This is Elvin Mark. We are here in Bandanera. This is uh, one of my favorites. It's a room and board called the nutmeg tree, and it's also a dive center. There's a new business admin area that's coming up right now. They're just installing the glass panels. This is a little reading area that they have. Non-fiction, science fiction, fiction, travel guidebooks. And uh, 
yeah, for kids. So part of the rooms are here. There's one that's not occupied right now. Let's go check it out. Pretty cozy, huh? Um, this is a twin room and back here is the bathroom. So they have this outdoor concept. Hello. <laughs> That's the balcony area where you can just rest and uh, or read a book. This is the pantry area. This is where uh, breakfast and dinner is served every day. So we'll come in and take a peek at the staff cooking on one of the nights. If you're interested in that, click on this button, yeah? This is the diving area of the lab tree. This is the drying rack. And this is where you come and flush down after a dive. Um, yeah, and this room here is the dive center. This is where they organize all the dive trips. And that's it. We're back up here again. I really love this open concept that they have. Everything is made of natural raw materials from the island itself. This is the dining area and uh, the barbecue pit. So if you're wondering where everyone is, all the divers have gone out for their dive. This fruit is called Boa Putat. The staff says it's not consumable. But guess what? I found this on the internet. Yum! This is where I came to ride the boat to the foot of Banda Api. That is Banda Api, the volcano, last erupted in 1988. So about a month ago when I was here with the Urban Sketches from Indonesia and also Urban Sketches Portugal, Mario and I hiked up this volcano. You can watch the video right here, click on that link. So right now we can see that it's low tide. Uh, this little contraption here moves with the tide. So when the tide rises, so does that. It actually comes up. So this is the nutmeg tree. This is just one of the many hotels that you can find on Banda Nera Island. Whatever reason you come here for, it's just a great place to kick back and relax. To soak up the sun and rest the mind, body and soul. Elvin Mark still in Bandanera. So we've checked out hotels, we've checked out guest houses, and if you're tired of those or if you're on a shoestring budget, you might want to check out a homestay. But what it is is that you actually live with a family. So there's one here on Nusantara Street, block number three, unit number seven. It belongs to 
the Sioux family. Let's go check it out. So welcome to the Sioux household. So this is the backyard. kitchen area where we dine and this is the kitchen back here and you're free to do your laundry back here This is a dining area for large groups when they check in and this is just a private dining area if it's just yourself. Let's go check out the room. So this is what the, the room looks like. and You have your standard shower. So even the food served here, more local, more Bundanese and not typical Indonesian. They also own a little shop, so let's drop by to see what's here. Hello! Guys, do you want to check out Spongebob in Bahasa, Indonesia? Let's That's SpongeBob in Bahasa, Indonesia. How interesting! And I think the whole underwater thing, being an island, Bandanera, I think it's so apt. Good morning guys, we are homestaying today in a family in a house. So we are living in a house where a family lives in maybe a side of it but the whole house is for us to use. 
um, everything from the kitchen, the Wi-Fi, etc, etc. So for today, someone fried me um, goreng pisang. It's, it's banana fritters, by the way. Time to sketch. Pisang goreng. Suka. 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 Nanti kalau mau makan siang jam 12. What I love most about traveling is meeting with the locals and learning their way of life. Food is definitely a big culture in this particular family. Ini apa? Kucai. Ah, kucai. I'm having a light okay. breakfast, but already Sue is asking if I would like to join the family for lunch. She heads into the garden in the backyard to get some ingredients for lunch prep. Thank you for joining me once again. This is Elden Mark. I hope it was a visual treat for your eyes. Until the next art video in Banda, ciao ciao. This experience only in a homestay. Ooh. Mm.